Might want to do a little stargazing later tonight, McCallum. There's a blood moon rising. Mm. What is that, you ask? I do. Me too. Let's find out. Right. Right after this. In a moment. It's a marvelous night for a moon dance with the stars up above in your eyes. Great tune selection. CCR followed by little Van Morrison. What I was going to say is that the people on the on the rope line usually get the news about the prince. That, well, sometimes they do. Right. No news yet, though. An amazing, right? Amazing sight in the sky tonight. A total lunar eclipse, making a so-called blood moon visible across much of the country. What's a blood moon? Corey Powell, editor at large, Discover Magazine in Pittsburgh, PA, with his family. And Corey, good morning to you. What is a blood good, moon? What's going on? Good man? morning. Uh, blood moon. It's actually the, it also it happens after midnight, so it's also the tax day moon. Uh, make of that what you will. Uh, so lunar eclipse is a it's a rare alignment of the Earth, the Sun, and the Moon. What you get to see is you basically get to watch the Earth's shadow sweeping across the Moon. So you see like a bigger and bigger bite taken out of the Moon, uh, and then eventually the Moon almost disappears, but it doesn't really disappear. It turns a dark coppery or kind of blood red. Uh, that's why they call it a blood moon. Very spectacular, and all you need to see it is clear skies and a pair of eyes. And, and what, uh, what time of night? Well, that's the catch. You also need an alarm clock. Uh, for people on the East Coast, uh, the action starts at a, a little before 2 o'clock, and the, the, the real blood red moon, the, the fully eclipsed moon, starts at 3.06 a.m. It's a little better if you're on, you if you're, know, it's a little better if you're on the West well, Coast. We were just going to set our alarm clock for that time, 3.05 a.m. Just give a minute to wake up. But there is something yeah. very unusual about this eclipse. What is that, Corey? Well, actually, a couple unusual things. So first of all, this is a, this is a set of four lunar eclipses uh, that are happening over the next 18 months. Uh, it's, a, it's an unusual kind of arrangement called a tetrad and actually uh, before the 20th century it had been 300 years since uh, we've had a, a set of eclipses like this. Um, all four of them are also going to be visible for the United States which is unusual uh, but perhaps the other cool thing is so today is not just a lunar eclipse it's also the closest that Mars has been to Earth in over six years so uh, if you have nice clear skies tonight you look up you get to see the moon being eclipsed. You also get to see Mars shining right next to the moon, oh, very okay. bright orange. So you get a blood, you get a blood red moon, orange Mars all together in the sky. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's no, going to be an amazing no sight. No reason to go to sleep for people like you. But I still don't uh, get it. Like, like, what's happening with the moon? Why does this occur this way? Well, so imagine if you're if you're standing on the moon and you're and you were watching, what you'd actually see is you'd see a, a total eclipse of the sun. You'd see the Earth passing in front of the sun, um, and it doesn't get completely dark. You'd see a like a like a red ring of fire around the Earth. That red ring of fire that is all the sunsets on the Earth seen all at once from the moon. So that that blood red ah. color that that is the color of sunset. That's all the sunsets from the Earth lighting up the moon. Uh, and so you, you, you're, not, you're not just seeing this incredibly eclipsed moon, you're actually really seeing your place in space. You're seeing, wow. you're seeing the sun passing through the earth, making sunsets, lighting up the moon. Uh, it's a, it's a cool pretty stuff. cool place to All realize right, so, exactly where you are in the universe. And if we get some clear skies later tonight, we'll have the pictures tomorrow. Thank you, Corey. Yeah, and even if, even if it's hazy or if it's partly cloudy, you can watch it. You can also watch cool. it online these days. Cool, yeah, <laughs> you do that too. <laughs> Yep. There's an app for that. Thank you, Corey. Corey Powell from Pittsburgh. We'll see you in New York again. the next day, which might be easier yes. than waking up at 3.05.